Hi, I'm Trudy from Online Business Liftoff. And today I want to show you how to easily create a link that you can send to people that you want to come into the community. And I want to show you how to create the link in such a way that those people can then go exactly to the space that you want them to go to. So here at the moment, I'm in my home. You can see the threads that are there. What we want to do is we want to go right up here to the top click on this little down arrow that's next to your icon for your community. We're going to come down and click on members. And then we're going to come down further and click on invitation links. And I'm just going to walk you through the process that you used to set those up. Now, you can see that I have some here already that have been set up and they're active. And we're going to go over here to the right hand side and click on create an invitation link. Click that, and now we have a process that we're going to walk through so that by the end of it, you're going to have a link that you can send. The first thing we want to do is we want to give our link a name just for our own internal reference. We don't necessarily want other people to know what it's called. They won't see it. And I like to keep part of the name that's there. I like to say invitation link so that I know what it is. And then I'm going to give it a name. Now I can use something that's already there. You can see that I have a number of things that are there, but I can also create my own. So I could say introduction to managing your finances. Let's just say it's a training or something like that. And I can just keep it there. And then what we want to do next is we want to be very specific about what spaces and what space groups people can see when they actually click on that link. So we can either start with space groups, which is the higher level place where you put your content, or we can just jump straight into spaces. I'm going to start with space groups because it's just that slightly higher level view. And I can say, well, actually, when people come in through this link, I want them to be able to see the welcome thing. I want them to be able to see the library. Maybe I want them to be able to see the toolbox and let's just say the advanced academy. So actually I'm gonna take that one off just for right now. I can click that and it should come off, which it does if you get the X right. And so I'm gonna choose those as the groups, the space groups that people can see, they have the permissions to see when they come in through the link that we're creating. All right, so that's that one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to spaces and now we're gonna give them some very specific spaces that they can access. So I'm gonna give them the start here. You might say, okay, I want them to be able to ask for feedback. And we definitely want them to be able to see the say hello. Now that one's gonna come up in the OBL one. So it's actually already covered, but you can actually include it if you want. Now you might also say, well, actually I want them to be able to see some specific things like, some of the trainings that we have in there. So we might make sure that they have access to things like events where they might be able to see events that they wouldn't see otherwise. Now, those are very specific spaces. These are your space groups, which gives a wider variety of what's there. And so those are the things that people are going to see, have permissions to see when they come in through the link. Now, the next thing that we're going to just have a quick look at is I'm just going to jump this one here. I'm going to come back to this one in a sec, but I want to just say this is where you choose which actual space is highlighted when they come in. So for me, I would want people to either go to the start here bit, or I would get them to come to the home page, which is where I started, where you can see the thread. So I'm going to change this one here and I'm going to go to the start here one. And that's where they're going to, that's the space they'll land on. So they'll see those start here instructions straight away. Now, I want to come back up to member tags. And member tags are something that you can apply to the person's name when they come into the community. And now there's all sorts of things you can apply. You can have like team member, 
for people who are part of your team. You can have founding members. You can have people who have, you can say they're a graduate. You can say they're a community manager. You can make up anything that you want. You can actually even say, hey, you're a visitor and give them specific visitor permissions based on the fact that they're a visitor and not necessarily a paying member. So there's all different kinds of tags that you can give people here. Now, what I might do is I might just click on quiz creators. It means they're part of my course. And that tag is going to show up against um, basically their name. Now, I'm going to show you in a minute how to create a tag. If you stick around, show you how to create a tag from scratch if you don't have anything in there already that you want to use to put against people's name. But I just want to briefly mention the paywall trial. What you can do is you can use Circle's paywall functionality to set up a trial subscription thing. So what you do is you, you basically choose your paywall, you click there, you will have built, de determined what you have, would have set up ahead of time, what your paywall types are. I'll click that one. You can choose to create coupons and add that in there. You might be hundred percent off or, you know, 50% off or whatever it is, whatever your trial subscription deal is. And you want to come up here to choose term. You're going to say what it is. And you're going to say, how many days do they get it for? And I'm just going to say 30 days just because that's really simple. So I'm going to then click create. And there you have it. You now have got an invitation link to whichever new group that you've set up or even just a trial group that you've set up. And you can just copy that link, click on copy. It will copy the link. You can embed it in emails and you can send it to people to invite them to join and they'll be able to see the spaces that you've assigned them to and that you've given them permission to access. They'll have tags against their name to show that they're a member of that group. And yeah, it's a really, really great way of making it easy to invite people to come and join your community. Now, just very quickly, I'm going to show you how to set up the member tag, a new member tag. You're going to come back over here to the left, click on member tags, and you can see the ones that you already have. Or you can come up here to the right and go create a member tag. And now you're going to create a name for it. Now, sometimes it's really hard to see this little box here, but there's a little box here. And I'm just going to say new finance guru. And then you want to just down here in the design section. Now you can click this little arrow and it closes that, but you can click on that and open it up. You can select an icon. Let's just look for a dollar sign and just pop that in there you can change the colors you can either put a hex code in there or you can click on that and you can mess around with the colors and do something beautiful whatever whatever your brand colors are you would want to use that and leave it there now i'm going to just click on visibility again you have the ability to not show this tag on member profiles if you don't want to but if you do want to have it you turn that on and this is where you set where they show up on the posts and comments bio, the member cards, profile page, member directory, you can turn those on or off however you want it to do it. And in terms of the display format, it can be a, an icon with a tooltip or a label. So that's how you create that. Now we're just going to tick on members, going to close that. So scroll up just a little bit. And you can use this little bit here to add tags to members that already exist in your community. And if you have somebody who isn't in the community already and you send them that invitation link where we've set up this tag, then it'll automatically add it. But if you create the tag after people are in, this is the place where you add it in. So then you're just going to click create. It's going to add in your tag. You now have it up here. You can see that it's there and visible. And it's just a really lovely way of making people feel good about what they're involved in and what they're working on. So I hope that was useful. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.